Ladies and gentlemen, creating a word cloud can have many benefits. Today I'm going to show you how to create one in Mentimeter. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to create that word cloud, we're going to go over straight from our homepage or our dashboard. And we will see on the bottom over here, there is a new Menti, or if you click down here, there's a new quiz. All right. So we're going to go and say new Menti for now, and we're going to be presented with a page whereas you can now choose how you would like to start your word cloud so let's go and either start from scratch we can also use a pre-made template and then we can also import slides as a powerpoint presentation a keynote presentation or a pdf file let's go and start from scratch now as you start from scratch you will be prompted as to what interactive question you would like to use and of course we're going to look for word cloud and as you can see in the main part of the screen there is a visual representation of what it could look like so once we've selected it now we'll have to populate it with our own information so the first thing you want to start off with is asking the question so that your word cloud can be populated let's enter a question in one word, describe your perfect holiday. Now you can customize what that actually looks like. And then if you click on this main section over here, you'll see on the right hand side, there are a few options. You can limit the number of responses and we are gonna just leave it as one. So that'll be one response per submission. And you are going to then also have the responses shown live you can apply this to all now you can also change the word cloud colors this is a pro feature but it is quite handy you can also then go over to the right hand side and click on interactivity and here you can change how things sort of present themselves so we can have questions and answers added in there and then you can have those questions visible to everybody and you can enable a live chat which is great Let's go now to the top and you'll see a few options. Now, once you are complete with this, you can, first of all, on the left, create a new slide. This new slide can also be a word cloud if you so feel to do so. And then just above that, you can actually rename your word cloud to whatever it is you'd like. You can see now at the top on the right hand side, there's a little eyeball icon and we're gonna click on this. This will take us to a preview mode, whereas we can see what it will look like on our screen, which would be represented by the space on the left, which is our presenter screen. And then if you travel to the right, you'll see the audience screen. This is what your audience will see on their smartphone or their computer, laptop, whatever device they are using. So you can see over here, it says in one word, describe your perfect holiday. And over here you can click and it's interactive. So now you can enter your answer and click on submit. All right, we've got sunshine. You can also give it a thumbs up and let's click on submit. Now on the right hand side, you'll see it would start to populate. And on the left, it's showing you a preview of the pop-up screen after the result has been submitted. You can also go to the top of this page it says show test responses you can click on this and it'll give you some test responses so that you can see what this will look like if there are multiple responses you can see now slowly but surely it is starting to populate and each different word is coming up of course this is test responses so it's not related to my question but effectively that's what you could be working with now on the top right you can just click on the X this will take you out of the preview mode and back to your editors page. And on the right hand side, you have the present button, which you will simply use to present your word cloud.